Well, a lot of us are good with the nice warm weather we had previously, but it's been a slow start to the season for Perfect North. With warmer temperatures, it's only opened a couple of times this year. So now Perfect North is being forced to cancel its big New Year's Eve party. But our TJ Parker learned the cancellation means big rewards in the days to come. The folks here at Perfect North say this is the first time in several years that they've had to cancel their New Year's Eve celebration, and they're blaming this unusual weather. I'm very disappointed because, like, we just bought our passes. Perfect North is going through a not so perfect season with unseasonable temperatures. The slopes this year have been pretty bare. This is unprecedented. We've had four openings after Christmas Day in the 36 year history. Um, this will be number four. Perfect North Operations Manager Jonathan Davis says this could bring the record of latest opening date and in trying to open as quickly as they can this year they're having to cancel their New Year's Eve party. This is uh, this is quite a bummer. Jonathan says last year about 6,000 people came out to ring in 2015. This year the only people that will be out will be the snowmakers. He says the reason they're going to close is so they can make snow. We've unplugged electrical devices, our furnaces, we, um, some of our kitchen equipment just so we can concentrate on the snow making effort for the next two or three nights to push for a reopening. Jonathan has been getting calls from people disappointed the party won't happen this year, but he says it's all for a good cause to get the skiers back on the slopes. In the big picture of things, um, I think that people will be happy with the decisions we're making. He and the rest of the staff here at Perfect North are hopeful winter will stick so the snow will too. We miss all of our winter friends. We can't wait to have everybody back out here. At Perfect North, I'm TJ Parker, 9 on your side.